Hello and welcome. My name is Victor Mesa. I am the library assistant for teen services here at the Placentia Library. And today we will be making our very own lip balm. This lip balm will only take a couple ingredients and just about under 10 minutes to make. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Your kit will include the following. Beeswax pellets, coconut oil, shea butter, a wooden spatula, a two ounce aluminum tin, and an optional ingredient that is not included, but you're more than welcome to add, is essential oils such as peppermint, lavender, or citrus. All right, so now that we have all our ingredients gathered, looks like we can go ahead and get started. Uh, so many people say that assembling all the ingredients is perhaps the most difficult part of the project, but once you have all the necessary items, it's a fairly simple process. So first we're gonna start off by combining our three main ing ingredients using your wooden spatula. Add the shea butter and the coconut oil into the beeswax pellet cup. All right, awesome. Looks like we have all our three ingredients mixed up together. So now we can go ahead and try and liquefy our ingredients in the microwave. We're first gonna start off with the one minute timer, uh, mixing after the first 30 seconds. Please keep in mind that microwave heat and settings vary, so you may use more or less time to melt the ingredients into a liquid. Uh, you can use the trick of microwaving in 10 second intervals and stirring in between to help ensure that the beeswax melts into the oil. Please also remember that once it is melted, the it will be hot, so use oven mitts uh, to remove the container from the microwave and use caution with the cup and its contents. All right, awesome. It looks like our ingredients have liquefied um, all together, so we are ready to begin the pouring process. Now, just keep in mind, this is when you would add your essential oils if you are gonna add any, and just keep in mind, it is only a couple drops as essential oils are pretty strong. Um, so now we are transferring our lip balm into the container while it's still warm and liquefied. Um, from there, we are going to let the tin rest and cool. All right, so here we have our still liquefied lip balm, not yet set. And here is our finished product, a DIY lip balm that you made all yourself. Thank you so much for joining and I hope you guys enjoyed this fun project. And I'll see you at the library. Goodbye.